Hi there, Lindsay here, The Frugal Crafter. Today we're going to take a look at a set of travel brushes that I picked up a couple weeks ago on Amazon. And um, I wanted to get some, uh, just mainly I wanted to get another really big round travel brush because my favorite one, my Cheap Joe's Pseudo Sable number 12, is just starting to dull down. I've been using it like a dog for the past, uh, I don't know, five years, and it's great. Um, but it's starting to wear down, and I, and I, you know, I always like to try different things, try new things. I do definitely recommend that brush, but I saw this set for $25. So like the one, I think the one Pseudo Sable is about that price. So I'm like, oh, I want to try this. For one, I love quill brushes, and these are quills. And also I thought, you can it's really hard to tell what the sizes are online. Um, this is a set of six and they range in sizes six, seven, eight, ten, twelve, and fourteen. And generally when you're getting quill brushes, the sizes like a size four quill would be like a size fourteen regular round brush. So I didn't know if they were going on quill sizes or on western sizes. I almost said American sizes, but you know, there are brushes in Europe well before America was a twinkle in the colonialist size. So we're going to stick with uh we're going to stick with just saying western sizes here. Um but these are definitely more like your your typical brush sizes. So this number 14 here, I would almost say this is probably about the size of a 10 or a 12 in your typical round brush sizes. So um the only thing that really makes us a quill is the way that the bristle are attached with this, uh, well it used to be like a, um, a bird's quill, but now they use plastic and, and wire to attach them. But I thought I would do a little demo with these because I've been painting with them a bit and I really like them. And um, in case you're interested, that way you would be able to see what what we have. Now what I think I would recommend, because you have six here, I think this would be an op a really great set to split up because um, the, the way the sizes go, there's not a huge difference between the um, like between the sizes. So if I look at this, if I look at the six and seven, they're almost identical. And if I look at the uh, ten and eight, they're almost identical. And then if I look at the twelve and fourteen, they're almost identical. So you could definitely have either a set for one bag and a set for another if you have multiple. Uh, painting setups or if you want to split with a friend or if you just want to put three away for when you wear these down and you want to have fresh brushes so um so yeah i think that's kind of nice uh that way you don't have to be too precious with them but let's take a look at these and see how they go let's put them in back in their normal order and let's first look at the uh let's first i've taken them out of order already <laughs> let's first look at the number 14. so when you put them in, you just be careful not to split the hairs when you get them in there. They come with little protective caps, little plastic caps, which once you get your brushes and you take them, you know, you open them up, take the little caps off them, just don't put the caps back on. Don't, I mean, not these caps, but the little sleeves, the little like plastic sleeves. They will have sizing in them, which you will need to wash them off. And I actually soaked, I used my little, um, well, this is kind of dirty, but don't mind, don't mind the mess. Um, what I did was I kind of put them in like that so that I could wet, I could like soften the sizing in the hairs without getting water up in the ferrule. So I did that actually because there was a lot of sizing in there. They did not want anything to happen to those brushes before they got in your hot little hands. So that's kind of nice. So let's see, um, let's see what these brushes can do. Now because the brushes are, the bristles are really long, they're going to hold quite a bit of paint. So I mean like I could, if I had a full pan, like I'm using these little half pans here, if I had a full pan I would be able to really put you know, really load up even more uh, paint and water in here. But let's just see. I mean, we can get a lot, a lot of paint in there. And I didn't even have it fully saturated because I couldn't get the, uh, you know, I couldn't get it to soak up enough because my pan, I just have a half pan there. Does that make sense? You know what I could do? How would I make a puddle? Oh, making a mess of my palette. Um, so I'm making a puddle here so I can really see how much this will hold. This is the largest one, just so, you know, bear that in mind. So let's really sop that up there. Okay. Probably could use more water in there. That's what's about the same. All right, let's see what kind of thin lines I can get with this. This is a number 14, so I'm not expecting to get a really thin line. And let's look at how thick. Not too shabby. You know, that definitely, we could definitely do a wash with that. 
Now let's uh, let's look at our smaller one. This is a number six here. No, that's number seven. I need the number six. See, I told you I was already already getting uh, getting confused. Let's see what we can get for a for a wash with that. So as the sizes get smaller, the bristles get a little bit shorter. But the longer the bristles, the more paint, the more paint and water it's going to hold. But also the less control you're going to have. So that one's not holding a ton. But let's see about how fine of a line we can get. Oh, we can get a razor sharp line with that. Look at that. And it's got a pretty decent holding capacity. I didn't put a lot of paint in it the second time. So, I mean, I don't need to spend a ton of time on these. These are decent brushes. Um, like I said, I think you could split it with a friend or you could make yourself two sets of brushes because I don't think you need to travel with all of these because it's kind of, the the sizes are kind of redundant. The 14 and 12 are very similar. The 10 and the 8 are very similar. And the 6 and the 7 are very similar. So um, it's kind of like you're getting two sets. You're getting a set and a backup, the way I look at it. $25, I think it's a pretty fair price for these. Um, I had no problem with any wiggliness with any of the ferrules. They came well packaged. There's no like ca carrying case or anything. So um, you're just gonna get them in a box. Doesn't really bother me, um, but if that, you know, there are sets out there you can buy from other companies that have little carrying pouches if that's important to you. But uh, as far as just having a good quality brush at a reasonable price, I think this is definitely fitting the bill for me. Just uh, at the time I'm recording, this is one left in stock, so I don't know if this is going to be restocked. I probably won't post this video unless it does get restocked. So there you have it. I think it's a great little set and I uh, just wanted to give you a really quick little look at them in case you were considering buying them. Golden tackle on bristles. Um, if you want something more absorbent, I would highly recommend getting something like the uh, the Creative Mark Mimic Travel Set, although those brushes are kind of small. Um, or go for the Cheap Joe's Pseudo Sable number 12. That brush is, is heftier than the, than the 14 here. It's a little bit bigger and it does come with a beautiful point. And it took me years to wear it down. So that's also an excellent brush. Uh, that will cost you about the same as this handful of brushes. So just uh, just wanted to give you the heads up there. I hope that you found this useful. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye.